I just cleaned up trash around here. But at the same time, you don't want it straight either because then it gives the car. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing, bud? I'm looking at the line. Well, if you look at body lines on it, cars are round and do weird things. If you base your graphics off of body lines, it's almost always not going to be straight. You have to go off what makes sense to your eyeball. Stand back and look at it. If it looks straight to your eye, it's probably really close to straight, unless you have really bad eyes. It's straight to your eyes, Quinn. How does she look? Quinn's eyes ain't straight. Yeah, we know that. I happen to have a pretty good eye for this type of stuff because I've been doing it for so long. So I'm always not looking at my eyes. I'm always looking at the stripe itself and how it lays on the body to make sure that it appears to be straight. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this one down because I'm happy with the placement and move on to the other side and I'll kind of explain to you guys a little further what I mean by if it's straight to the eye, it's straight. Now beat it. You're in my way. Jesus, scram, pal. Yeah, and since we're selling these kits on our website, I, I don't want anybody to freak out and like, I don't want to like over explain this or anything like that. It, this is not a hard process. As long as you just take your time, you have a squeegee and a knife. It is not a difficult process at all. You just need to be prepared and take your time. It's actually very simple and easy and it adds a heap of presence to your car. All right, well, the stripes are on. Huge shout out to Quinn for helping me get the driver's side done. Uh, but I think it turned out great and it definitely ties the black together like we were hoping it would. I can't wait to see it on the ground. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out in the sun and see how it looks. Our Evo 10 is finished. We're done with the build. I'm honestly a little sad. This car came together really quickly, I felt. And I don't know, I like to play with this thing. It's a lot of fun. This is my first Evo I've ever really worked on. So going through it has been fun. I'm a little bit sad that it's done. So let's take a quick walk around the car, see everything that we've done to it, kind of check the car out, go through the mod list. And then uh, in a few days, one of you guys are gonna be picking this thing up and taking it home with you. So let's start out under the hood and then we'll move to the rest of the car. Starting here in the engine bay, the first thing you don't see is the action stage one clutch and flywheel we have. It is a sprung clutch it is a very nice usable street clutch so that's buried up in there beautiful unit the parts you do see include a sabon carbon fiber engine cover which replaced the factory uh, kind of crusty plastic one we have an apr front fan cover which is a very nice piece goes into our am 50 state legal intake system which sounds amazing it's a really nice piece and replaces the factory plastic which didn't look too good we also have a set of torque solutions engine mounts which has really improved the rigidity of the car and how the engine and transmission system respond we also have a full Mishimoto cooling system so upper and lower hoses and the radiator as well to improve the cooling and get all the maintenance done we have brand new peak coolant as well as Motul engine oil and gear oil in this car so all the basic maintenance have been done this thing should run for a really good long time in addition to that we also have a Cusco front strut bar which is a beautiful piece and right next to that we have a JD customs brake reservoir cap we have a few other JD custom uh, titanium parts just kind of float around the engine bay such as the radiator cap cover and then the oil fill cap cover is a nice nice piece to complement this engine Bay. Also, we have a throttle performance engine hood prop, which is very beautiful. I love the look of a good titanium part and it just makes the engine bay just that much cleaner. We did just start putting these on the throttle website. If you guys are interested in picking up a titanium hood strip for your Evo 10, there you go, head over to throttle.com. So one of my personal favorite modifications that we did to this is the Mishimoto intercooler and oil cooler setup complements the V1 bumper very nicely. You can see the intercooler poking through. And then the oil cooler kit we installed is actually really cool. It's two sandwich coolers put together. The way they have the mounting set up, it looks killer. So whether you're daily driving this car or taking it to the track, Mr. Motor Cooling System set up for pretty much anything. All right, so that's gonna do it for all the underhood modifications. Let's start getting a look at the exterior of the car and all the beautiful things we've done. I know you guys are loving this video, but we need to take a second to thank our sponsor, Manscaped. Manscaped is trusted by more than 4 million men worldwide. They provide premium tools and formulations designed specifically for below the waist grooming and hygiene. Introducing the newest formulations for Manscaped for your butt, 
balls, and your body all in one package. The two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, the Manscaped body wash with refined cologne scent, the hydrating body spray, aluminum-free stick deodorant, plus this free gift, the lip balm, which is my favorite. It's five easy steps, one product per step. Let's go over those. After you've made your way into the shower and gotten your hair wet, go ahead and add the Manscaped 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner. This cleanses and nourishes with a luxurious lather. Once your hair is rinsed, pump the Manscaped body wash into your washcloth or loofah and scrub your entire body. Now rinse and towel off and apply the Manscaped hydrating body spray. This is a stick deodorant that's aluminum free, stain free, and dries clear. Last but not least, grab the free gift, which is the moisturizing lip balm, toss it on, and within five minutes, you're clean, smelling fresh, and feeling like a million bucks. Boom, that's it. Five easy steps in five minutes. And make sure that you opt in on the Manscaped Peak Hygiene Plan. You can make sure you never run out of your favorite Manscaped products and they arrive when you need them. Now go to manscaped.com and use promo code THROTTLE for 20% off your order and free international shipping. That's 20% off plus free international shipping using code THROTTLE at manscaped.com. Huge thank you to manscaped.com for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. So the first one is the Varus V1 bumper. Huge carbon fiber lip, a set of Varus canards as well. Looks really nice. And that was an input from you guys down in the comments. So beautiful piece. We have a set of spider headlights. Very good looking headlight. Definitely refresh the front end of the car. So we have a set of carbon fiber Sabon fender grills up front. Very nice looking piece and kind of ties all the carbon we have in the car from the front all the way to the back. Moving on to the wheels, tires, and suspension of the car, we have a set of Motegi MR151 wheels, just a beautiful classic five-spoke design. We have a set of Falcon RT615K Plus tires, 275-35R18 all the way around. Huge grip out of this tire. It feels really good, especially on the light Motegi wheels. Suspension, we have a set of Revel coilovers all the way around. Very nice product. Drives super, super smooth, really nice. Stiffened up the car quite a bit. A lot of response out of the chassis. We also have a full set of Cusco bracing. We've been through the entire catalog at this car. So there's bracing running all the way from the front subframe all the way to the back. It looks beautiful. Also, the boys at Ice Blastworks came down and completely ice blasted the underside of the car. So it looks brand new. When we first got this thing, it was a crusty, dusty mess with mud everywhere. And now the car literally looks brand new underneath. With the Cusco bracing, it looks beautiful. So for brakes, we're running a EBC two-piece front rotor kit. Very nice rotor kit. It is a complete factory bolt-on replacement for this. We have a set of EBC front brakes and rear brake pads as well, and we have a set of OEM rear brake rotors to go along with that. We also had Ricky clean up the calipers. The paint on these brakes when we first got the car, it was faded. It was The clear was peeling off. It was not good. So Ricky went ahead and threw a fresh coat on. Everything looks beautiful now. Moving on to the side, we have a set of charge speed aero mirrors and a charge speed side skirt as well. Very nice, very JDM looking body kit. We also have a nice throttle side stripe on the car. We just recently put these on our website as well if you guys are interested in picking up a set for your car. Obviously, we have the throttle banner, the VIP sticker. We actually replaced the antenna back here. The factory one was super long and just kind of looked really weird, so we got a, uh, a short little antenna. That is an agency power antenna for those of you wondering. Moving along to the rear, we have a set of Anzo taillights. So the factory taillights were really dated at this point. The bubbles, it just wasn't a good look. So these really freshened it up. Freshen up the back, they're also tinted, which is a very nice piece. It makes the rear of the car look very aggressive. We have a charge speed rear bumper kit as well, which has a carbon fiber valence at the bottom. Very nice piece. We also have a full HKS catback exhaust system, which sounds incredible. And you get nice little pops at wide open and hard shifting as well, which is super cool. So after we finished putting the body kit and pretty much the whole exterior modifications on the car that we were going to do, we went ahead and ran this thing down to elite finish. Now Wes and his boys went to town on this thing. They brought the paint back, they made the car look super clean, they PPF'd the headlights and they actually put gloss black PPF on the roof to round it out, which is a beautiful piece. So huge shout out to elite finish. Wes, you and your boys did a crazy good job on this car. It looks brand new. The paint was pretty rough when we got this car initially. It wasn't destroyed, but it wasn't in really good shape. It had weird old 
faded PPF everywhere and there was a lot of spots that needed touching up and now this car literally looks brand new. So let's go ahead and move on to the interior. The last real big piece of this build is the KDN shifter that we installed. We have a set in our Eclipse and we absolutely love the shift kit. Really crisp, really solid feeling shifter. So we had to have one for our Evo 10. So that's that guy there sticking up loud and proud, but I think it fits the car. So that is the mod list of our Evo 10 and I'm a little sad to see it go. This car was really fun to build for me, especially because we finished our Eclipse GSX. There's about a 15 year gap between when the Eclipse was made and when this Evo came out, but it's really cool to just kind of comb through the car because they're both four cylinder turbo cars. They're both hauled XL wheel drive system. They're both manual transmission. So there's a lot of similarities. And then both being Mitsubishi, you see the manufacturers kind of come through the systems and how they finish everything. The way parts are set up and the way things are set up on the Evo 10 that are very similar to the Eclipse and they're also changes. So I like going through and finding the differences and I think it's fun. So I'm gonna miss working on this car. Let's take this thing out on the road, drive it, see what all of our team members think and take it for one last ride. Yeah. Whoa! You know what we got, Sean? Woo! Let's put these babies in. Some freshy floor mats. Ooh. You forgot about those, Quinn. I did, I did. Should we put these in? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Pop them open. This is it. It's the last piece to the puzzle. Fresh mats make such a difference. OEM, OEM, OEM mats OEM. too. What's that? That's passenger? That's passenger front. Rear guy. Just fresh, fresh. black. Yeah, it's clean black, but look at that. What, what is that little silk tag? <laughs> look at this. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's it, dude. And look at this. Rusty. That's it. Woo! -hoo -hoo! That's nice. Uh, just a little Chinese fire drill. Hey, you're in the front now. Dude, I like it, man. I could totally drive this every day. This one's going to one of you guys in just a couple days. Kind of jealous. Every time we do this, every time we finish a car, it's like a fully modded example of whatever that chassis is. And I always get a little sad because I'm like, man, this would be a sick car to just have and to drive. This thing's pretty quick, man. Sounds really good, too. You don't get a crazy amount of turbo noise. Um, and the exhaust is not overly loud. I think it's just right. When you open the windows, it sounds great. Throttle response is really good. The shifter is my favorite thing, I think. It's just so direct. Man. The weird thing about Evo 10s is they're only five speed, which is kind of uh, a weird thing. You would think that they would be a six, a six speed manual in 2013, but I guess not. So, man, good job, Quinn. Good job, everyone. This thing is fun. All right, I think Mickey just got to the shop, so let's go let him take it for a rip, and then we'll have Quinn drive it as well and see what they all think. All right, well, I haven't driven this car since before, well, a lot of the stuff was on it. We're gonna go ahead and take it out for a drive. That way I can feel the shifter. Kinda wanna feel the suspension, cause Revel suspension, Quillovers is a, is a new brand for us. I kinda wanna feel those. I just kinda get an overall feel for the car in general. I know we threw a lot of parts at it, so. I'm sure it feels quite different than it did when I drove it uh, right after we bought it. Curious to see how that is, so let's take it out. All right, well, it handles like a dream. I'm really feeling these uh, Revel coilovers. Sorry about the shaky camera. That's me jiggling the steering wheel around because I really want to feel the responsiveness of the coilovers. I'm actually pretty impressed. It drives great, as you can see. I'm very happy with it. The one thing I think Mitsubishi screwed up on these cars is not putting a sixth gear on the transmission. Um, it definitely feels like it wants that that gearing. I think aesthetically, obviously you guys have seen it. Aesthetically, I like the way the car looks. I definitely do like the uh, Varus front bumper on the car. The other bonus is if there's anything on this car you don't like, you're gonna get 20 grand cash along with this car. So. Uh, if you want to add some things to it, bigger turbo, different exhaust, different front bumper, uh, whatever that may be, you'll have some cash to do that with. So that's pretty cool. If you haven't already entered to win this car, I highly recommend it. It is fantastic. I think the mods were very well chosen for this one and it's a very well-rounded car. So yeah, head on over to throttle.com. Any dollar you spend on our merchandise or our uh, car parts, 
will get you an entry to win this car per dollar. All right, well, that was a positive experience. I really like this car, man. I could get used to driving this every day. Another one uh, we're gonna give away that I'm gonna miss, I think. I only wish I would have had some more time to enjoy this car. I say that with every one, I think. The Mustang, I got the most time to enjoy, and I still miss that car. <laughs> Maybe it's better that I don't get attached, so. Anyway, this is a good one. If you haven't gotten entered, you're gonna wanna do that. All right, the last drive of the Evo. So this has been fun because I was, Mickey and I were actually the ones who came and picked the car up the day we bought it. So, and of course, a lot of the work has been done by me. So pretty much every time you need to go test drive the car after repairs have been done, I'm the one driving it. So it's been fun, like slowly see the car change and transform and how all the mods have kind of come together. The interesting thing about the mods that we've done to this is like the car, like on paper really hasn't changed a whole lot as far as power and suspension goes we haven't really done anything super crazy to make this thing not what it was but every mod that we've done to this car have really improved the experience of just driving the car the engine feels way more responsive with the torque solutions mounts it sounds better because of the hks exhaust and the aem intake system the shifter feels incredible the clutch feels incredible the brakes are a lot more responsive the chassis feels a lot stiffer due to the revel coilovers and the Cusco bracing that we have it's just a lot more of a fun car to drive. <laughs> yeah, the sounds this thing make are awesome. I love it. The sports sedans in general are kind of one of my more favorite uh, like platforms to build on. Cars like this, the Evo, like uh, M3s are like this too. They're like normal cars that have been like tuned and modified with better engines and better suspension. And a lot of the times like Evos like this that are done bone stock, like STIs when they're stock, M3s when they're stock, all they need is just a little few modifications in the right area to really make the car feel a lot better and a lot more exciting to drive and a lot more responsive. And, Cause like driving the stock Evo, the engine feels great, the chassis feels great, but there's this blend of high performance parts and it being based on a regular car and you can kind of feel that. Like the suspension, the stock suspension wasn't the best. Um, the engine mount stock weren't the best at all. It's got a really quiet exhaust system. So it's not like, it's a sport version of just a normal economy car. But when you do a select few modifications on this or like an STI or an M3, they really wake up and they're really fun to drive. That's what I love about this Evo. That's what I'm gonna miss about it. This has been a great car to build. Actually, my first time driving when we got the cars. My first time driving the 10, and I absolutely love it. This is such a great car to be given away, and the new owner, wherever you are, you're gonna be super excited to have it. And I hope you enjoy it just as much as we are. Shifts are so sick, dude. I love notchy shift uh, shifters. Like my FD has one semi like this. It's very notchy, and I, I just I love it because you know exactly when the uh, when the gear goes in. My R8. Shifter is notchy. I just I love it so much and I really like this one and the seats are super comfortable too But it's so sick that bone stock seats come with Ricardo. Ain't that cool, man? Super sick Think about the Evo. The Evo is one of those cars that you can literally daily drive because they're they're not horrible in gas They're pretty good in gas and they're so much fun to drive you can literally daily drive these things anywhere. You can go to Vegas and back just to go eat lunch. You can. It'll take you all day, but it's that comfortable and that fun to drive. All right, guys, so that is it. Our Evo 10 is complete. This is the final form of the sweepstakes car. I'm a little bit sad to see it go. In a few days, one of you guys is going to be picking this thing up. I feel like this build went together really fast, and I'm a little sad, but it's a great car. I love how this thing turned out. It feels great. It looks great. It drives amazing. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of the final form of our Evo 10. It's definitely a way different car than it was. It is, but it's not, and I like that about it. The sweepstakes ends March 31st at 11.59 p.m., so if you guys want to get entered to win our Evo 10, head over to throttle.com. Every dollar you spend is going to get you one entry to win this car. So that is it, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.